Yo guys, what is up? Davis here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, get your RGH or JTAC console online from scratch. Uh, I made a video like this last year, um, and uh, I think around April sometime, and it got a lot of views, and it's kind of outdated now, and I just need to remake it, so that's what I'm going to do for this video. Um, so it's it's pretty simple I don't know how long this video is gonna be I'm gonna try to make it as fast as I can because I gotta go somewhere like soon so uh, and my birthday is tomorrow which is the 13th so I'm pretty excited about that and I want to be 17 I know I look like I'm 30 but you know anyway I'm gonna get right into it um, you're gonna need every single one of these files um, you're gonna open up this one which is neighborhood uh, you're probably gonna use neighborhood a lot eventually and uh, I got a readme text in here you're basically just gonna run this program right here and you're gonna install everything and accept everything there's no viruses so don't worry about all that but uh, once you install it all you're gonna get this and I'm gonna just open this up show you guys it's gonna look something like this this isn't gonna be here until you add the Xbox 360 uh, I'll show you guys how to do all that later on uh, XCX mini I'm sure you know what that is I have some files in here with the readme text as well and horizon you're gonna need that um, and then these are all your files or actually programs for your RGH uh, I'll get into those later on as well and then the, the plugins these are for like your mod tools and stuff like that and for this one is to connect the neighborhood uh, you, you guys probably aren't going to understand all this right at the moment, but you will later on. Uh, Mr. Mods is our server. I'm not going to open that up. And then KV Checker uh, is to check your KVs. And you're going to need a KV to get online. So, you know, find a KV seller. I can provide you one if you can, if you contact me on Kick and all that good stuff. Um, I would check out my Instagram if you guys need a RGH or something like that it's at Davis or no there should be probably like a thing right here saying my name or something I don't know but um let's see uh, you're gonna need a flash drive for this as well and I'm actually doing this console from like it has nothing at all on it so uh, I got my flash drive plugged in and that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna um, you're gonna download neighborhood and you're gonna download uh, XEX menu and we're gonna open up horizon actually and so here's the program right here and we got our flash drive plugged in which is what we need to do so um, uh, actually one thing I want to explain to you I'm gonna unplug my flash drive actually um, the flash drive that you have it has to be formatted with the Xbox 360 so you gotta put it in your console and you gotta format it first and it's got to say um, uh, memory unit or something like that uh, you, you just can't you can't rename it to memory unit it won't work like that but you got to usually when you plug it in and you format it it'll say memory unit which is a good thing um, that means it's it's for it works with your Xbox 360 I, I don't I can't explain it exactly but uh, if it doesn't if it's not working for your Xbox 360 like a like an Xbox 360 storage device then it's not gonna work in neighborhood so um, if it says something like USB flash drive or something like that then there's really no way of fixing that you gotta go buy a new flash drive and plug it in and format it until it says um, Xbox 360 or uh, my bad memory unit that's what it needs to say uh, I would recommend buying the Microsoft flash drive that they actually sell the Microsoft Xbox 360 flash drive just so you know that it's gonna work but anyway if your flash drive if you plug it in actually let me show you I'm sure I have one right here that doesn't work So uh, you play it, pay attention to this bar right here. So I'll plug this in. And 
it, you saw it was loading there for a minute, and then it just stopped. Uh, that means that your flash drive is not going to work with Horizon. So you got to have one that actually loads everything. There's really no mm -hmm. way of fixing that either. So I'm going to plug the mm -hmm. flash drive in that does work. And as you can see, it loaded all up. And just ignore this. What we're going to need is XEX menu. So open that up and then open this. And then this is what you're going to do. You're going to drag this folder only. Just drag that right into there. And you can X out of that now. Move this over here. And as you can see, it gives you the contents and everything. It tells you it's XCX menu. So what you're going to do is you're going to click Save to Device. Click Flash Drive. And it should save it. Alright guys, so now that that's done, it says it's transferred complete. And so we're just done there now. So if we go to demos, you should see XCX menu. If you don't see it, then something's wrong. Uh, just reflat, refresh your flash drive and see if it's there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to minus this out. And we're going to go over here to the flash drive. And we're going to go to removable disk. And as you can see, there's nothing on it. So it's a blank um, flash drive, pretty much. Um, this is going to be normal if you have the Microsoft Xbox 360 flash mm -hmm. drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up one setup files. And we're going to drag this. Drag and drop that right there. Just wait for that to transfer. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna X out of this, and we're gonna go to plugins, and we're just gonna drag and drop that entire that entire folder. Just drag and drop it right in there. That that should transfer really quick. So after we're done that, we're gonna open up Mr. Mods. Go in here, and you're just gonna drag and drop Mr. Mods at XEX right into there, and that's all and that's pretty much all we're going to be doing on the computer um i'm going to meet you guys over on the xbox now yo guys what is up so now that we're on the xbox we're going to go over to settings and then system and then storage and we're going to plug in our flash drive so now that's plugged in and we're going to go down to memory unit, which is our flash drive, and we're going to go to demos, and we're going to copy this, and I got to sign in, so, uh, who cares, as you can see, it says I'm console banned, which is kind of normal, but um, we're going to copy this, and then copy it to hard drive, so now that that's done, we're going to back out, and... I'm going to go to hard drive just to show you guys that it's in demos now. So uh, back all the way out and we're going to go to uh, games, my games. And as you can see guys, we basically just put XEX menu on our Xbox. And there is another way to do that if your USBs don't work. Um, but your console has to be flashed with LT 3.0 or something like that. And uh, I don't, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, you'll have to look up another video, but anyway, once you open up XCX menu, you're going to see this screen, and you're going to be like, what the hell, there's nothing there, but uh, anyway, you're just going to press RB, and you're going to see these files, and uh, if you click X, you can go down to the different uh, storage devices that are on your hard drive and stuff, that made no sense, but uh, we're just going to go to HDD1, as you can see, these are the... Um, the files on your hard drive right now and I'm just gonna go press X and go back to USB 0 and I'm gonna press Y and we're gonna press copy press X go down to HDD 1 press Y and paste and just wait for that to transfer alright so now that that's done transferring we're gonna go back to USB 
and we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna copy every single one of these files so uh, I'm gonna try to do this real fast but just try to keep up so you're gonna press Y copy X HDD one Y paste and you're just gonna do that for all five of those All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna go back to USB zero, and we're gonna click B, and we're gonna go down to Mr. Mods, uh, XEX. Don't click on it. Uh, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna press Y on it, and copy, and press X, go to HD1, paste. So our hard drive is there, it's set up kind of. Uh, what we're gonna do now is, I think that's all we need to do for that, so. Um, we're on hard drive now. Uh, basically, I want to show you guys one more thing that you're going to need in the future. Uh, if you click RB one more time, your sensors, which is your, the temperatures of your console, uh, I have a video for that. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's how to keep your console, you know, keep it cool to prevent rendering of death and all that good stuff. So I would, I would check that out if you want to keep your console, you know, good and up and running and all that stuff. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys was your IP address at the bottom. Uh, you're going to need that later on for uh, neighborhood. So just keep that in mind. Uh, every time you put a KV on it, sometimes it will change. So you'll have to come back here and get it. And then, um, so yeah, uh, we're going to go back. We're going we're gonna to press LB to go back to HDD1. So we're going to press X, HDD1. And we're gonna go to one setup files, click dash launch. Actually, before I go in there, I want to tell you guys what these mean. Freestyle dash is a custom dashboard, and um, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. But you can do a lot of things with it, like extract games and to dot .xx files on there, and you can change the different skins, and it's really cool. And you can play Link. I'm pretty sure and you know all that stuff um, if you guys want to load that up you're gonna click a on it and then press default.xex to load it up I'm not gonna do it in this video but um, actually I might later on I'm not sure yet but simple 360 NAND flasher and XM360 you're not gonna be using that much at all uh, simple 360 NAND flasher it's something that you're going to use when a new dashboard update comes out to update your NAND and you basically just make a backup copy of your NAND if you don't have one and then you update it with a program on your uh, on your computer and you know it flashes and reads and writes on your on your uh, RGH and so XM360 is something that um, unlocks DLC content on your console and I think it does a few other things, I'm, I, I don't know, but I use it for unlocking DLC content. And then Dash Launch is basically your main thing for your RGH console. If you don't have Dash Launch, then you're not going to be able to get online. Uh, it's something that loads your plugins, and the plugins are stuff that, um, you know, like your server. Uh, it's going to, like, connect to your server and stuff like that. And uh, it also lets you connect your console to neighborhood on your computer and it lets you transfer files back and forth and stuff like that and it has a bunch of different settings which I'm going to show you guys so we're going to click dash launch installer default.xex and you can do different paths and stuff and you know I'm not going to explain all of this to you you guys can look it up on your own but anyway um, we have all these stuff and these are your plugins they're already loaded for some reason but anyway we're gonna click RB and we're gonna go to HDD and we're gonna click A on it and it says settings loaded at the bottom at the bottom left as you can see and we're gonna click LB and as you can see we go to network and, and you can see the settings has changed a little bit and your plugins have loaded which is a good thing 
uh, we're gonna click RB again now and go to HDD and we're gonna click X on that and as you can see it says settings saved at the bottom and now that we're done with that we're gonna get our CPU key because we need that for the computer to uh, link up with Mr. Mods online to, to use your RGH so uh, I'm gonna show you one way to get it you can click LB two times and then go to system info and at the top left you can see your CPU key and it gives you some other information as well so it's, that's pretty cool and um, but right now I'm gonna show you guys another way to get it through Excel and being on the computer so alright guys so what is up uh, I'm actually recording on my phone just for a minute so I can show you guys how to boot Zell um, here's my console right here. I don't know why it's so dark in here, but um, we're actually just gonna turn it off and I'm gonna unplug my flash drive too. Whenever it wants to turn off. Alright, so basically our console's off now, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the eject button. So if you can see that, you're just gonna press that, it'll open the tray and it should boot Zell pretty easily and quickly. There we go, so. <clears throat> anyway, on our screen, it'll boot up a blue screen just like that, Zell reloaded. And it's gonna load down, or it's gonna drop down, and right here's our CPU key once again, the top that top line right there is our CPU key and right there is our IP address which is what we're going to type in on the computer so what we're going to do is we're going to get that IP and we're going to go over here to the computer and I'm going to try to keep it right here and it, I'm going to have a program so you guys can download it it's called JRunner so let me show you JRunner and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna type in an IP which is it says point seventeen at the end and then we're gonna click get CPU key right here and as you can see you got the CPU key okay so once we get our CPU key which we have right here uh, we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna to minus this out and click new and we're gonna do a text document, type in CPU key. Uh, and we're gonna open that up, press copy, I mean press right click and paste and then save it. And so we have that now. Uh, and I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, I would make a backup copy of that just so um, you always have it and now um, after you get your CPU key we're gonna go over here to Google or wherever your search engine is and we're gonna type in Mr. Mods 1999 dot com and search that up and it should load up a file and if your console if you're if they ever come out with a new update their downloaded files are always at the top right so just remember that and you're, you're gonna scroll down here and this is where you um, put your CPU key and then we're gonna type in our name which mine is you know Dave so make sure you get your name correct uh, you cannot change your name so um, just type in your name, type in your CPU key, make sure the CPU key is correct, and then type in that code right here. Type add, oh, it's incorrect, of course. Alright, so it says I already registered. So that's kind of good so just make sure you got that right and it says you're registered and all that stuff then you're done so 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart our console. So I'm gonna minus out of this and I'm gonna stop recording. All right guys, so we're back and our console has booted back up and uh, the first time it boots up, it's gonna say something like Mac address or KB um, rebooting or something like that. And it's gonna reboot and then it's gonna boot up again and it might actually restart again because it's updating and um, if you don't have a Ethernet cable plugged in, then none of this is going to work. So you got to have an Ethernet cable plugged in. Uh, also, um, we're going to get our KV now because my console is banned. And I'm going to minus this out. And we're going to go into KVs. And this is a KV that should be unbanned. So I'm going to. Move this over here. And we're gonna open up KV Checker as I just did right there. And we're gonna move, we're gonna go into KVs. Just ignore that. And we're going to drag and drop that KV right into there. And we're gonna go back to KV Checker and we're gonna run this program right here. And it's unbanned as it said on the side so if you open up that log it also says that it's unbanned so I'm gonna move this back over into unbanned KVs you can X out of that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Xbox 360 neighborhood and let me remove this just so you guys can see how it all works uh, once you open it up it's gonna look like this and we're gonna click add Xbox 360 click next and we're going to type in that IP address that I showed you guys earlier <clears throat> alright guys so we've got our JTAG now set up and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into JTAG retail hard drive and you can see all of our files in there that we literally just added so um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to drag and drop KV right into there. Uh, something I should have mentioned right before I did this. Um, as you can see, it says KV.bin. If it's something different, rename to like, say it was something like this. Something like that. Uh, it's not going to work. Like your console isn't going to get online. It's not going to detect the KV. Uh, if it's something you know um, who, who knows what it could say but if it's not if it's something other than kv.bin then it's not going to work right so it has to be named kv.bin or it's not going to work so just make sure it's named kv.bin and we're good to go so after you put that on your console all you have to do is restart your xbox so uh, I'm going to X out of all of this and I'm going to restart my Xbox and show you guys what's up on there. Alright guys, so I'm rebooting my console right now. And as you can see guys, we got um, Welcome and it says our name, Mr. Mods Live Success and we're actually online. Um, something that I didn't get actually it should give you an update it should say update required uh, so if you're on the latest dashboard like we talked about earlier then which is 17489 at the moment um, if you get an update it says update required then update it it's not gonna mess up your console um, there has been bad KVs that are going around they're new KVs and they're actually breaking pe people's consoles uh, I know if your console does get bricked then I can repair it for forty dollars. That's what I charge. Uh, you have to send it in to me, and I can repair it. Um, anyway, guys, that's the that's the end of this video. Please check me out on Instagram at Dave Sornal and like and comment and subscribe to this video. And you know, look at my Facebook page, even though I'm not really that active on there. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace out.